Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Manifusion here with some horribly, horribly bad news. It would seem, in my uh, absent-mindedness, that last time I tried doing a recording, I somehow magically accidentally deleted my account. Yes, I know, it's so horrible. And it gets worse. Unfortunately, after that, I did a speed run back to exactly where I was. This room. And it took two hours. As you can see, I was disappointed. I mean, seriously. All this video, all this recording, everything I've been doing, all amounted to that. Granted, I skipped through uh, most of the actual dialogue, but even so, that's still a downer. Then again, that's pretty much adventure games for you, at least from what I'm told. So anyways, we're back to this. Luckily, I was able to get back to here with relative ease. It's kind of depressing though if you think about it, because uh, I didn't die a single time. I guess that's what they mean by games like this really don't have replay value, but it's still a good story nonetheless, and that's what I play it for. And hopefully, that's what you guys are watching for. Who had that? Agrippa? No, Shadow can't be close. This cannot be! I think I have to go back and talk to him again. Because uh, on this run, I don't think I've uh, accepted his quest. Yet. Oh, also, I didn't use any of the tenders or oil whatsoever through this entire thing, which I found hilarious. Because seriously, you guys, it really wasn't necessary. And now I have even more than I did last time. It's great news, right? Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain. I managed through pipes in the ceiling, it said. What? I was talking about the ones in the actual rooms, because I kind of was paying attention. Yeah, let's see. Magic cost. Wow, look at that. 25 oil, 8 blah blah blah, and 78 of those. Yeah. Kinda went a little overboard, didn't I? Yeah, well, it was totally worth it. For you guys, I ran through this supposedly scary, scary evil dungeon thing, and I kicked its ass. Unfortunately, through most of that time, my guy was going completely and utterly insane. You know, because that's what Daniel likes to do. Then again, he was never very sane to begin with. I mean, seriously, what sane person would get in this situation? I mean, in all honesty, right here. This describes it all. Would you consider... That's weird. I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at it. But huh. if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Heide, would you please bring it to me? I think I found out where to go now. To help him. Let's get some boxes. Some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. I completely missed that the last time. And here I thought he'd be running around for another half hour. Okay, so apparently I didn't get as far as I was in the last recording. By that I mean this guy's still talking. But other than that, you know... Also, I may have actually missed some Tinder and stuff. Which I'm really not that concerned about. Um... Okay, how the hell am I supposed to climb up there? Uh, hello? 
Yeah, I can't jump for shit. Okay then. Let's stack some more stuff. Oh, it's a good idea. Stack stuff. Yes, uh, Grippa, whatever your name is. We get it. You like to talk. But I don't like his sharp pointy stuff all over the place. I fear sharp pointy stuff. Let's see. Okay. We're playing Tetris stair style. You know, it's probably just going to be easier if I put this uh, in front. Okay, there we go. I might have to push that back a little. I get it, man! How can you talk? You have no lips! No lips! Ah! Oops. I don't know if you can't tell, his lack of lips is slightly disturbing. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. Oh, is that it? Really? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. All that extra work. I'm hoping that that stuff works now. Um. Hello. Hello. Is anybody there? Run. Oh no, I touched the chains. That means bad stuff will happen. It's a curse, you know. A bloody, bloody curse. A dead people curse. Yes. Excellent. Stuff is red. Mm, I think that means I solved something. Is that a dead guy? Wait, wasn't that the door that was locked? Or was it that one? Because I'm pretty sure I shut that door. Then again, all doors kind of look alike in this damn thing. Anyways. You guys know the drill. Wow, didn't even loot that. Oh, here we go. I fixed it. I am awesome. You know it. Back to sneaky. I don't trust that door. And here we go. Back down the rabbit hole, Alice. Back down the rabbit hole. Yes. Daniel, you have gone too far. No, I haven't. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, no. What was that? Are those spiders? Oh, <laughs> nice. Spiders and darkness. Run to Akripa. Run. Akripa will save me. He is totally capable of fighting. I mean, look at him. How are things coming? You got the doors open? Good go. Indeed, indeed. I knew you could do it. Because I'm awesome. I'm gonna go do stuff now. You, uh, hang tight. <laughs> it's funny, because he has no choice. Okay, then. Sneaky, sneaky. What does this do? Okay. And the point of that? Can I grab the fishy? Ooh, ooh, was it a fishy? I want to catch a fishy. 
Fishy! And... Can, oh. Die, fishy. You don't belong in this world. Okay. Okay. Um... Another thing loot worthy, and I don't think I have anything to attach. Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. I rock at logic and fishy catching. I played freaking dragon. Wait, no. Breath of Fire 3. What was the point of that? Now I just have a bone? Okay. Okay. I don't know what the point of that was, but I'm pretty sure I'll find out. And behind this door... The transept. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. No, it will not. It just goes on and on, my friend. This place never looks safe again. This one, prepare him. Okay. I prepared him good. I prepared him all night long. That sounds wrong. Slowly. Oh, yay, darkness. We all love darkness. Ooh, it's a mouse. And. okay. Do I get to find someone to torture? Right. We're on a fetch quest, aren't we? What did I do? The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cries hysterically as the men con contemplated their next step. So this game is entirely about rape, right? Like, that's the one thing in this game I have no doubt. See, look at that. Why is she a nun? Kidnappers are nuns? We. Something that I still need to find, huh? I don't know what the logic it is. Oh, or I pulled it the wrong way. That's rather fucked up. She seemed to like it. <laughs> hey, Mikey likes it. Hmm. Besides making me go insane. What the hell was the point of that? Okay, my camera's getting dizzy. There's a bucket. Go nuts. On the road again. Okay then. I got a piece and that really accomplished nothing. Don't I feel special? On to the next door. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop! 
Or keep going. I don't want to go up there yet. Add things away at upstairs. Because stairs suck. I hate stairs. The cradle is ready. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, a cradle. You're a man. How could you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. Accidentally. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. We are the monsters. And you are the bright light. That begins the day. So, let me guess. This is what the tar is for. No, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Do anything! Kinky. Okay then. Huh. I'll take that. And... Where's the diagram of the kinky stuff done in this room? Oh, right. I was the dungeon. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on the... On and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. So they ram this up his bum. Okay then. I'm gonna throw shit at you. Is there anything special in this room? What's up? Oh, 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 oh. Aha. Trying to hide you, son of a. Gotcha. Alright, let's go. Okay, this is a long hallway, so I'm just gonna run through it. So what if there's big scary monsters on the other end? I could take them. Maybe. Okay, probably not. Reckless abandon! Now for the talking. Come on. Where's the talking? This looks familiar. And I hear something. Oh, I'm going insane so I hear voices. Take your time, man. I get it. Been having a bad day. Okay, good. No, no, you're not going insane. Those voices are really there. From all the bad things you've done. And will continue to do. Let's see. That looks gruesome as all hell. Not to mention, you ruined a perfectly good. Oh, hi. Oh, damn. The rapist hanged upside down, her tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. They saw between. The saw between his legs lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. That was a dude. Oh, that's blood dripping, not hair. Ow. Um. Uh -huh -huh. I know. Throw a bucket. Oh, come on. The 
Blood needs a vessel. Lower the vessel to collect the blood. Oops. Uh, I need to find me some rope. Wait. Damn it, I got buckets, rope, and a saw. I'm pretty sure that I could find some way to fit that down there. But no, I have to do it the specific way it wants. Or it's gonna bitch at me. Man, 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 QQQ, your needs. I'll have to go find something lower to than with something. Yes. Up the stairs. Hey, look. There's a dead guy. You're dead, right? You weren't there before. I will poke you. With the bone. Like this? Ooh, ooh. Aw. Guess that's not the kind of violence I'm looking for. Wait, is that because I tortured people in all the right places? Sneaky mood. I hate stairs. These stairs suck. Oh, come on. Hey, it's that guy again. Hi, creeper. Now that's the kind of face I'm looking for. So it's a uh, early American. Uh, yeah. Okay. See. Shut door and explore. Oh, we have a new motto. Oh, there we go. String. Just what we're. There are quite few a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be the pro a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed to present the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more effective or efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once. Wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. Ow, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> as long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vedette and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the am amnesia drink and try again later. Oh, I feel there is something about a foot. Yes, a foot. We all need a foot. Ooh, one of these. Is it you, my love? I was. I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on the dark mountaintop. There is, there is little I can do to redeem myself. 
The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Ooh, I wonder who's that's about. Probably some asshole that we know. Since, holy shit. Dude. He's no longer a creeper. I think I noticed something. There is definitely something afoot here. Indeed. And the body is gone. 